The following is an address to the nation by the Minister for Health, the Honorable Anne Peters, to mark December 1 as World AIDS Day. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow citizens, I am delighted to address you today as Grenada joins the rest of the world in observing World AIDS Day 2010 under the theme Universal Access and Human Rights. This year's observance serves as an important reminder to all of us that HIV and AIDS is still a major concern and there is significant work to be done. HIV AIDS continues to rob our people of their health and their lives and has been a major threat to our economic survival and viability. We all know that the protection of human rights is fundamental to combating the spread of HIV and AIDS, especially among marginalized groups and individuals in our society. The stigma and discrimination experienced by people living with HIV and AIDS, as well as by those population groups perceived to be most at risk of infection, constitute major obstacles for regional and local efforts to provide accessible services for prevention and treatment. A recent UNAIDS report shows that the number of people becoming infected with HIV are decreasing, and fewer people are dying from AIDS due to increased awareness, condom use and availability of antiretroviral drugs. But ladies and gentlemen, millions are still being infected each day globally. In 2009, an estimated 33.3 million people were living with HIV, of which 15.9 million were women and 2.5 million children under the age of 15. During that same year, there were 2.6 million new cases and an estimated 1.8 million people died from the disease. For the Caribbean region, an estimated 240,000 adults and children are living with HIV. New infections have declined slightly from 20,000 in 2001 to 17,000 in 2009. 12,000 people lost their lives in 2009 compared with 19,000 deaths in 2001. The Caribbean remains the only region besides sub-Saharan Africa where women and girls outnumber men and boys among people living with HIV. In 2009, an estimated 53% of people with HIV were female. Here in Grenada, since the first diagnosed case in 1984 to December 2009, a total of 403 HIV AIDS cases have been confirmed. So far, from the period 1st January 2010 to 1st December 2010, there have been 27 new cases of which 11 are females, 16 are males, and one minor. Most of these cases were diagnosed at our hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, government continues to provide free HIV testing and antiretroviral medication to all infected persons regardless of their political, social, or religious beliefs. It is estimated that only 50% of those in need of antiretrovirals are receiving it. Decentralization of services has been shown to increase the uptake of treatment, care, and support services. Continued efforts will be made to ensure universal access to antiretroviral services in the coming year. Through the Prevention of Mother and Child Transmission Programs, commonly referred to as the PMTCT, all babies born to HIV-infected mothers are given prophylaxis within 72 hours of birth resulting in them being free from HIV infections. It is important to note that our national HIV AIDS program has made significant progress over the past year. In May of this year, the National AIDS Council in NAC was reconstituted to improve its delivery of services. The new council replaces the previous council, which served throughout the period of the World Bank loan, the HIV program. The present council is made up of representatives from a wide cross-section of the population and includes the Grenada Red Cross, the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Education, the Grenada Medical Association, the Grenada Nurses Association, the Conference of Churches, the Ministry of Youth, the private sector, people living with HIV, the Grenada Employers Federation, the Grenada Media Workers Association, the MAPS, more commonly referred to as Most At Risk Population, the Grenada National Council of the Disabled, the Grenada National Organization of Women, the Interagency Group of Development Organization, among others. The principal objectives of the National AIDS Council is to coordinate, facilitate, and monitor the national response to HIV and AIDS, as well as the National Strategic Plan for HIV and AIDS. The Council also has the shared responsibility for advocacy, 
resource mobilization, policy development, legislation, and the monitoring and evaluation of all programming activities. A secretariat of the NAC will be established as part of government's input in 2011 to provide administrative and technical support to the Council. Ladies and gentlemen, government is ever mindful of the role played by several ministries and departments, faith-based organizations, private sector and NGOs in the fight against HIV and AIDS in Grenada. And I take this opportunity to congratulate them on this significant contribution in the fight against HIV and AIDS. I also wish to extend special appreciation to our regional and international organizations for their technical and financial support given to the government of Grenada and the people of Grenada, Pan American Health Organization, the Global Fund for AIDS, Tuberculosis and Malaria, the United States President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, the Caribbean Community Pan-Caribbean Partnership Against HIV and AIDS, the Joint United Nations Program on AIDS, the United Nations Development Program, United States Agency for International Development, the Organization of East Caribbean States HIV AIDS Program Unit, HAPU. Ladies and gentlemen, as Minister for Health, I wish to reaffirm the commitment of this government to achieving the goal of universal access to comprehensive prevention, treatment, care and support of persons living with and affected by HIV and AIDS. In the coming years, greater effort would be made to scale up services and tackle some of the major obstacles to an effective HIV AIDS response. We intend to integrate the HIV treatment and prevention program into the primary healthcare services. Delivery of these services within general medicine clinics of the primary healthcare settings has been shown to markedly reduce the stigma associated with specialized HIV clinics. Government shall continue to reinforce the fact that prevention is key to achieving control of the HIV AIDS epidemic. Equality before the law and freedom from discrimination must be respected protected and fulfilled. In closing, I therefore call on all citizens to take control of their health. Remember, it is your responsibility. Make that smart choice to protect yourself and your loved ones. Get tested and know your status. I thank you. The proceeding was an address to the nation by the Minister for Health, the Honorable Ann Peters, to mark World AIDS Day, December 1. 2010.